New York City. Some people call it the concrete jungle, but just how wild is it? This past year, my friend Katie and I set out to find out. And these are some of the amazing animals we found. When most folk around the city and around the world think about urban mammals, they might mention squirrels, raccoons, and of course, rats. But we saw an absolutely incredible array of mammals across the five boroughs, and some surprisingly close to people. The smallest mammal we encountered was the deer mouse. Weighing less than an ounce and sporting large eyes and ears, these critters are adorable as long as they're not inside your apartment. Close behind them in size is one of the few venomous mammals in the entire world, the northern short-tailed shrew. This tiny critter scurries under leaf litter to chow on bugs and grubs. They're also talented burrowers and use these skills to keep themselves out of sight. More familiar to native New Yorkers and tourists alike is the Norway rat. Also called the brown rat, these highly adaptive mammals are found in our subways, buildings, parks, almost everywhere. They exploit our carelessness, as well as our ill-advised attempts to feed other wildlife, and thrive in our urban environment. Half as big, but twice as cute, the eastern chipmunk is next. These mighty mini-munchers, with their iconic stripes and expanding cheeks, are a delight to watch as they forage underfoot before returning to their underground burrows. Their tree-bound cousins, the Eastern Gray Squirrel, teach us about the incredible history of New York's wildlife management. And don't forget, they're not just gray. They can be found in shades of red, and every New Yorker's favorite color, black. There are even squirrels with solid white fur, caused by a mutation called leucism that robs their fur of pigment. But definitely not cuteness. Slightly larger, if less iconic, the eastern cottontail also calls New York home. An introduced species, these adorable herbivores compete with New York's native rabbit species, the New England cottontail. Up next, the chunky boys of NYC's wilds, the groundhog. Sporting more nicknames than any other animal we've met, these husky herbivores act as free landscaping artists, cleaning up after mulberry bushes and even pruning the gardens. Watch out though, their holes can cause some pretty intense structural damages, but the dens they leave behind also get used by our next mammal, the striped skunk. Famous for their smells and their style, most New Yorkers don't realize we have healthy populations of these critters living right alongside us. Primarily insectivores, they won't turn up their noses at human food scraps. Remember, always properly dispose of your trash. Speaking of trash, another New York favorite is the North American raccoon, sometimes affectionately called the trash panda. These masked marauders may appear adorable, but remember to keep your distance. Keeping them wild keeps them safe and prevents the spread of diseases like rabies. Our next sighting was among the most exciting encounters of the year. Smack in the heart of Central Park, an eastern coyote. Nothing reinforces just how wild New York can be like crossing paths with one of these predatory pooches. Although unseen by most residents, they're not uncommon in the five boroughs. Give them space and you've got no reason to fear. You should fear our next mammal more than you think. According to the Department of Environmental Conservation, an automobile collides with a deer about every eight minutes in New York State. Managing our deer populations is a long-term struggle, but a pilot vasectomy program in Staten Island has shown promising results. The last mammals on our list are both aquatic, and both encountered while on a wildlife tour with Gotham Whale. A few bottlenose dolphins were a nice bow on the trip, but the true get was seeing humpback whales. By far the most massive sign of New York's conservation efforts, live and 
up close. It's incredible to think our big city shares space with one of the planet's biggest animals. And even more amazing to realize our efforts at cleaning up our waterways are what have brought them back. If we take time to look, New York's wildlife is an ever-present reminder of the beauty of our planet and the impact we can have on it. If we continue to take steps to preserve our wild spaces and creatures, we'll be leaving behind a greener world for the next generation. And we'll be making sure the Big Apple stays a wild New York. <laughs>